Welcome to the Life Gym. Let's talk about competitive greatness. Sometimes when you hear the word competitive, it feels like you're gonna be against people or you're actually working to beat people. It's quite the opposite in sports life coaching. We're here to train you to be competitively great for yourself, for the things that matter to you. And then you can be for other people. So we have our tools that are anchored in truth. The truth is, who are you? What's important to you? What are you willing to do? How much discipline are you committed to having? What is your truth about the life that you're committed to living? And then we go to faith, faith in myself, faith in the people that I surround myself with, and most importantly, faith in the process. Becoming great or being competitively great and living this life that I've always wanted is a process that we're gonna work on by practice, practice, practice. So that takes us to our third tool in competitive greatness, which is love. You gotta have love for the game, love for your purpose, love for the people you hang out with. Everything is about be love so that you can give and receive love. This is all about you. This is you saying, this is what matters to me and I'm committed to doing whatever it takes to go for the things that I want. It's one thing to have a dream, it's another to be competitively great, to fight for it and go for it. And that fight and that battle is internal. It's a matter of me pushing through the performance barriers and the things that are really tough. So be competitively great for you so that you can be competitively great for your family, for your friends, and really paying attention to the fact that you and your life matters and if it's worth it to you, be competitively great to go for it. So whether you're an athlete or whether you're a life athlete, you and your life matter. Be competitively great, make it happen. It's all about you going for what you want and being competitively great for you.